And we are following a developing story from Pickens County today. Just heartbreaking. We found out a high schooler was killed in a car wreck. Fox Carolina's Kerry Weimer is at that scene. And Kerry, you can see the tree behind you. It's a heartbreaking story for this community and the Green Wave family. Yeah, absolutely, guys. You know, just standing out here, you can feel the heaviness from this scene as the tragedy unfolded earlier today around 11 a.m. You can see that tree over my shoulder still bearing the marks of what happened here. People that we've talked to in the neighborhood are still in shock. They just can't put into words what they saw and what they're feeling right now. Of course, we don't have the name of the person that died here earlier today, but we have confirmed that it is a student from Easley High School. This is one that the, the school is going to take hard. The director of communications for Easley High School confirmed today it was one of their students that lost their life in a car accident on Popeville Road this morning. That a student had left Easley High School. Not sure where they were going, but uh, here on Popefield Road, uh, unfortunately had a, an accident uh, leaving the road, hitting a tree, and uh, did pass away. Highway Patrol confirms a Jeep Liberty was attempting to pass a Chevy SUV when the driver of the Jeep left the road and struck a tree. Officials say that driver, the student, died at the scene. Anytime anything like this happens, it hurts. It hurts, and, and we really want to be there uh, for, for the family because I know it, it, it's, it's more heartbreaking, far more heartbreaking for them. The school's representative told us the student was from a very involved family, had lots of friends. He described the student as very sweet and said they were a part of the high school sports team. This one's going to touch a lot of students. Now, representatives from the school have confirmed they will have counselors on hand at the high school today and tomorrow throughout the afternoon, of course, to help out the students there and the staff as they go through this difficult time. Cody, Tori. Just a lot of heavy hearts there today, Carrie. Thank you. And the crash comes during the 100 deadly days of summer, a time we've seen uptick in deadly crashes. Fox Carolina is committed to you with tips on how you can stay safe. Be patient. Give plenty of time to reach your destination. Follow the speed limit. Watch for those construction zones and check your vehicle before you head out on the roads. It includes your tire pressure, your fluids and your brakes. And before you leave, plan your route. Let somebody know where you're going and make sure your phone is fully charged. Take some snacks and water in the car too, just in case you get stranded.